morning, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show, Play of the Day here, LL. I called this this morning. It is actually not a brand new bearish gap. This was an amazing call that I made today. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It's seven R's here and probably goes on to be 10 R's. This is, this is one of the things that I think that I don't, I, don't, I, I don't even how to know how I even could call something like this. It's just, I'm in the zone. I'm in the zone of seeing things that I can't even sometimes tell you how I see it, okay? Uh, I, but how am I able to actually see it? It's because I've trained my brain so well to read price action, okay? So I call this today expertly, and, and it wasn't a gap down. So I have to be clear about that. This was a follow through continuation gap down that I called today to short and it's working and it's a seven hour trade here and it went to the dream target and it's probably gonna go to another crazy number even yet today as well or it could, although who would be in this still at this point or to that crazy number, the next number, wherever it goes. <laughs> but the thing is that when you train your brain to read price action correctly, you can make phenomenal calls like I do all the time. and the market's one of them. LL is one of them here today as well. If you don't train your brain right to read price action correctly, whether bullish or bearish, then it is challenging to trade the market when things don't seem to fit all of the criteria that you would normally look for, you know, all aligned, which many people do in things like, you know, uh, machine type generated pro software programs that they buy or people are looking for the moving averages to connect, or people are looking for things to hold support or resistance. People are looking for things that if they don't, they, they don't always get them lined up right, and then they wonder why the trade doesn't go on to work. It's because you shouldn't be making decisions based on things like that. You make decisions based on price action. And I've become good at reading price action because I'm reading the price action in the gaps that happen on the daily chart of a stock, whether they are bullish gaps or whether they are bearish gaps. And actually, there were several gaps here in LL in the last few days, not just the one from today. Today, actually, the stock gapped up. This was a gap up today on the previous day on Friday. The stock closed at 30.55. The stock opened today at 30.77. I called a, a short today and a gap up. So I just want to be clarified that. This isn't a gap down. And this actually gapped up. On Friday, it gapped down. I did call this short Friday, too, although this is a massive trade today. This was very sloppy on Friday, but it didn't work. This was a gap down, though. The previous day on Thursday, this gapped up. It gapped up the previous day on Wednesday, and it gapped up here on Tuesday. So this actually has been gapping almost every day of its life in the last week. Look at that. So how am I able to read the price action to determine that this was lower today and Friday? It's because I'm reading all the gaps that happened here in the chart. And there were both bullish gaps and bearish gaps. And I called a short today and actually a bullish gap up. The stock gapped up today in LL, what I called it as a short. Not every gap up is a long, not every gap down is a short. But I'm reading the price action in the gaps to determine whether or not it is a play that can be done intraday and the day is a long or short, which this was a short intraday today, or whether on the overall daily chart it could be played later as a long or a short based on the gaps by reading the directional bias of what the gap is doing to help me determine what is happening in the chart in the price action. But I'm getting that from the gap. That's where the 26 point rating system really is so phenomenal because by using that 26 point rating system, it determines what the gap's gonna do in the day, short or long, whether it's something you want to buy or short. And that's how you make money as a day trader. And actually that's how you make money as any type of trader because you can't make money in something if you're in it in the wrong direction. If something's falling and you're long it, you wouldn't make any money. If it's fall, if it's, you wanna be short if something's falling, you wanna be buying stuff that is rallying and you have to learn how to read gaps or read that right. And it's not based on moving averages and it's not based on some kind of machine generated black box system that you would purchase or buy or Fibonacci's or any type of other indicator system. It's really just reading the numbers and I accurately read the numbers in this today I really just kind of in awe of myself here today, actually, because I I just was in the zone here. So
So the stock rallied. And here's the entry right in here. Time of the day is 9.35. And he went to the dream target, which was 28. Got within 22 cents of it. This is a seven hour trade, almost seven hours. I also called an ad or a trade in here that held. I think most people did this one, but I did call on this in here as well. It was 75 by 31.15, and that held too. You could have taken more. And look at this. And to do this today with the market doing what it is, it was just a phenomenal call. The market has been rallying all morning. It's 10.45. This was not a new gap down, it was a gap up. And the market is rallying, power trending up all morning. And I called this in the first five minutes of the day and it dropped and was almost a seven hour trade and went to the dream target and didn't even gap down. It gapped up and I called it at the exact number, at the exact entry while the market was rallying. Phenomenal call here, phenomenal. And I'm able to do this because I am in my own personal space where I am in touch with the stocks when they trade and the market and the numbers and that's why I can ex expertly read where the targets are and where the resistance is and where the support is in a stock. That's how I'm able to make money and you will never make money in the market trading if you don't understand how to read price action. I'm floored by the fact that people think that they can just follow someone uh, aimlessly or just look at aimless indicators and make money in the market. You will never be successful consistently unless you learn how to read price action. And that's why I make people take the class in order to trade with me in the live room because you will not make money consistently just even sitting in the room with me because you'll screw up a trade or not do it right or mess up your size or not put the stop at the right place or do something to make a mistake. If you don't understand what you're doing, you only get conviction from the knowledge and you have to have conviction to trade. You have to have 100% conviction to trade and you get that from the knowledge and you get that from trusting yourself and it's called conviction. And I have it. I have it in gaps. I have it in the market. I have it in shorts. I even have it in longs now because I call the market so bullishly so well. And the market's going to make a new high any second, any day, any week. And I have it in myself and my own abilities to trade and reprice action and even teach people. I have the conviction of myself to even teach people so they can go out and take the knowledge that I taught myself from the market and go out and make money. And they are doing it. And make the calls like I did today. I have 100% conviction and trust in myself. And if you want to successfully trade in the market and make money, you have to have conviction. You have to have conviction to take risk. And you have to have conviction to do the necessary things you need to do to make the money in the market. And you have to trust yourself. The people that follow me, that have been following me, that can't make up their mind about the class have no ability to be able to even trust themselves and make a right decision about whether or not they should take my class or trade or do anything at all. If you don't trust yourself to be able to do this, how are you going to be successful? If you can't even make a decision, if you want to take my class or not, how can you even trade? You have to be able to trust your own decision-making capabilities, whether or not you want to learn from me. Take the class, train gaps, train the market at all, or do anything, period. Whether it has to do with your personal choices, professional choices, this is not just about trading. People don't trust themselves, and then they wonder why they're not successful. And if you can learn anything at all from me, it's about getting 100% conviction, trusting yourself, making a decision and moving forward, and believing in yourself and your own abilities to do it. And even if you make a mistake, that's not has nothing to do with anything. You will learn from that to move forward into the next place in your life to not make that same mistake again. And you will be wiser and you will be stronger. Incredible, incredible, incredible call I made today in LL. Incredible. And this is exactly what I do. And this is why I am the bearish short stock swoosh queen of all time. I just incredibly repriced well. So good job today. Everyone that did do this in the live trading room, fantastic call. Good way for those people that did this to start the week, Monday, March 16th. Have a fabulous day, everyone. Golden Gap class, if you want to learn how to trade from me and read price action and make money trading the U.S. stock market, I teach a class and I'm teaching people how to do it. The class is March 21st and 22nd this weekend. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you want to sign up. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.